always hear people say, you teach kids these great life lessons in sports, and I think, no, you don't. You teach kids the worst life lessons in sports. You teach them how to be yeah. super competitive. You teach them that winning is important. You teach them how to crush somebody else. Yeah, you teach them I how know. to own the defeat. Those are the worst lessons, to, and you teach them how to be in a dressing room. You're right, and it's come back to what you said. We're getting so sensitive, and, and the, the, the word bullying is now yeah. such a big word. You've got to be so careful. I mean, I've had people say that I'm a bully teacher on the show. You know, that's not, that's not my definition of bullying. Right. I was bullied as a kid, and I bullied kids, yeah. right? I think in some aspect, we've all been bullied to some extent. Right. The extreme cases where kids have taken their lives and, and very sad situations that have gone too far and, and probably parents were unaware, you know, yeah, that's that's real bullying, but like, nice shirt, buddy. That's not bullying. Not bullying oh, yeah. well, where'd you well, get that, your mom? Like, I, that's not bullying. I that's how we did things right. as kids. I also think the challenge is that for our generation, we grew up with person, what, bullying can be too much, but in those, in those middle examples, it's just this. We grew up without the Facebook version of bullying, and that's the issue, right? So we have yeah. people who didn't grow up in the yeah. Facebook world trying to attach their worldview to something that they have no concept of which is the modern online bullying, well, right? It, it, what, it's different, I guess. You know, when I was a kid, if your dad, well, you'd go home and you'd say, Dad, this kid said this about me, and it hurt you'd say, your dad say, well, go fight him. Yeah. Like, it was a different, you right. know? And then nowadays, that lady on the plane saying, you're mean, I could say, you're bullying me. <laughs> like, it's, and then people would hurt, turn around and go, did you, you did, you bullied him. He was just talking. <laughs> No, we, it, you, you've got to know where the line is for the word. Yeah, bullying. Because it does a disservice to people that are really being bullied when you group everybody into, you know. So some of it is just socializing as, and kids learning how to interact with people. But yeah, yeah. you're right, there's a, obviously yeah, there's a line, Yeah, and then the right? Miami Dolphins had a, it was, that was the, probably the most prolific case recently of, and that, I mean, I don't know where that ended up, but now it's transcended into the professional sports, but... Man, you've been in locker rooms like it's if you if you define bullying with chirping and bullying, yeah. it would happen all the time, and you wouldn't last very long. You just wouldn't. No, in fact, some of my best material comes out of the in a hockey dressing room, right? <laughs> Stuff that I could never say on TV. It would be the end of our careers. Yes. Yeah, you know? George bullied me on Twitter the other day because he said I ran into a friend of yours, and I was all excited, and I went, oh, and I clicked on it, and he had the the Habs and ahead of the Leafs in the standings, and I'm like, that's bullying. That's, <laughs> Technically. That's bullying. I, I did that to you. It's true. I did tweet him a picture of the standings because you did that to me four times. Yeah, I did it. Every, I think I did it every goal. You one did night. every goal. Was, hey, George, look who I just saw. It was a picture of the yeah. Habs losing, right? Yeah. But that's just that's just. Mine's gross. just making fun, having fun. Yours is bullying. Mine is absolutely bullying. <laughs>